Paddleboards is located in San Diego, California. How I came up with the 5-Hour Workday is it's kind of what I've been working for the last 10 to 15 years. As an independent entrepreneur, I would just sort of come in and get my work done and, and get out of there. And I was thriving doing that. And so my thought was, why can't I sort of give what I've created for myself with this company to all my employees? It's sort of a, a scary experiment. And the way I sort of mitigated that risk is I said, we were going to do a three-month test here. It worked so well that we never even rolled back the, to the eight-hour workday. It took a little bit to get used to transitioning-wise, but of course, you know, when, when you hear, we're going to cut your day from eight hours to five hours, you're excited. I was working way over my eight hours, so I was a little skeptical of how is this going to work out? How am I going to do everything in five hours? I actually didn't think I would really be working a five-hour day. I was like, oh, maybe some employees do that, but I'm going to still be working a full you know, eight to 10 hour a day. And it was only after you know, a few days of working there that I realized that that was really the reality. So you're really managing your productivity, not managing uh, your time. The reality of today, because we have access to so much knowledge and so much information, mostly online, in the work environment, that people will actually stretch out their day to fill eight hours so they look busy all day to their bosses or whatever. I'm not making breakfast, I'm not having coffee, I'm not you know, chatting with other employees. So for those five hours, my head is down and I'm, uh, I'm working away. If you put a time constraint on the work that needs to get done, you, you realize that you actually rise to the occasion and you could get more work done in a shorter amount of time. A lot of people will say their best productivity days are the days that they're leaving for vacation. You know, they gotta get on that plane at eight o'clock at night, they gotta get all their work done by four so they can go home and pack. We've installed that constraint every day. That constraint forces you to examine your job. How do I do this differently? Are there ways to automate what I'm doing? Where am I wasting time? So we have everybody in the company actively analyze what they're doing. A lot of what I've done is I find programs and stuff like that that we could streamline the process. And it doesn't sound like much, but I've taken the process time of an order from around five minutes to around 2.6. So in our office, we work 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's straight through, there's no lunch, uh, intentionally no lunch, because usually people waste like a half an hour just figuring out where to go to lunch. And then you have lunch, and then you have sort of a food coma when you get back. So just by eliminating lunch, you're actually saving you know, a lot more time than just lunch. Everybody is judged on you know, productivity. We're really trying to get away from the model, which I think plagues corporate America, which is everybody you know, trying to impress everybody else by what time they uh, roll in in the morning and what time they clock out, regardless of whether they're doing anything or not. The stress level is almost completely gone. You look forward to work because it feels meaningful. So for me, the happiness at work has been tremendous. And then also outside of work, you know, the quality of life has gone up significantly, focusing on personal development, health, going to the gym, having more time for friends and family. Yeah, you can just go out surfing. You can make your schedule a lot more. In the year that we, we moved to this, our revenue went up 42%. So all of a sudden we're working less and you know we're making more money. I can kind of say to like other companies out there that are you know, working these 50, 60 hour weeks and having meager results, you're essentially doing it wrong. You're going to think twice before you leave a company like this, knowing what you have and what unfortunately other people are accustomed to. And it puts us in this sort of advantageous position that we can steal the best workers from your company now. I now have that work-life balance that I never had before. I am able to actually enjoy my lifestyle. 